Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my plan with me for the month or excuse me for the week of July 4th through the 10th and I am using this forest kit which I designed myself. I did purchase the artwork from somewhere on Creative Market. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you are interested. But as I said, I did design the kit myself. So unfortunately, unless you purchase the art yourself, you will not be able to get this anywhere else because um, it's an original and I do not sell kits. Um, and I used this kit this week because we went to Montana for uh, one of Colton's best friend's wedding. She got married this Saturday, which was the 9th. Um, and I thought that this kit would be the perfect kit to use for a very long weekend in Montana. And yeah, I just wanted like a nature-y one. And because this was like watercolor, it kind of had that like whimsical, romantical, that's not even a word, but you know what I mean. It had that vibe going for it. So I thought it would be perfect. And I paired it with gold foil. I used minimal gold foil I for some reason I thought that it would pop a little bit more than it did but either way it's fine I think that makes the artwork and the colors really shine um just having those very minimal pops of gold even though I expected a little bit more but anyway um use gold foil mainly from Scribble Prince Co but I did use a few one two oh just two okay just two overlays from Planet Hannah uh from her um, w wedding collection, I guess you can call it, um, for the full boxes, just the two full boxes on the sidebar. And then I didn't use any of her washi overlays just because the washi that I designed was a full one and the washi overlays that she has are all, um, what's the 15 milliliter, whereas my washi is, I guess, a full 30. So I didn't want to cover it up because I'm actually really proud of how the bottom washi turned out that's the one that I really um designed myself there were a whole bunch of layers and elements that I made myself whereas the full boxes were kind of pre um designed art I guess in a way but the bottom washi I did 100% myself so I'm really happy with the way it turned out and overall love the colors of the spread really happy with the way it turned out. Again, I wish I used a little bit more foil, like maybe underlays or a few more um, full box overlays just because I I don't know why, but I have this notion that um, full box overlays, like foiled overlays on matte paper, which is what this is, I printed it off in matte, um, don't look very good. And I don't know why I always just don't like mixing foil and matte, but they, it really doesn't look bad. So I need to just get over that um, and start using it because I do have a lot of planner kit kits coming up that I would like to use and I just want to use the foil that I have as well. So anyway, long story short, minimal gold foil, but I still love the way it turned out. So I'm just going to get into the day by day because I usually um, get behind somehow. So Monday was a very basic Monday, although it was July 4th. Um, I did, I started the day with my coffee as I always do on Mondays, uh, watch some YouTube cause that's when most of my plan with me's are uploaded. So I kind of like to take, cause Monday sucks. So I kind of like to take it slow and do fun things in the morning. Um, edited some videos or a video, I'm not sure. Um, and then I watched through Thomas FBI, which was the... TV show that I was watching at the time, at the time that I'm doing this voiceover, which is late November, I have finished the TV show. Um, and actually this is my second time around watching it. So this is the second time I finished it. Um, and then we had, we celebrated the fourth at, uh, Colton's grandpa's house and we just ordered some pizza and just chilled with the family, which was really nice to just relax, um, be somewhere else for a little bit and see some of his family, soon to be my family as well so that was a good evening and then we came home and I just read in the evening and then moving on to Tuesday I did some work because obviously I took a, the, the day off on Monday since it was a holiday so I uh, did some work and then I had writing group which I've mentioned in previous videos but if this is for some reason the first video 
um, you're watching from me, Elf Writing Group is a silent co-working group that we have with my graduate school. So we all kind of just check in for like five minutes really quickly and then just do our own thing for the rest of the um, scheduled time. So I find them very helpful, especially when you work from home. You don't have a lot of other interactions with people and it's just, it's a way to like hold you accountable in a way. So it's nice. Anyway, and then right after writing group, I met with my advisor. Again, watched some more Sue Thomas FBI. And then um, in the evening, I watched Only Murders in the Building. And this is one of the TV shows that I watch with Colton and his mom. We love it. Again, at the time of filming or at the time of doing this voiceover, it season two is now over. I But if you kind of are interested in a 30 minute really short comedy, I highly recommend Only Murders in the Building. I absolutely love it. Um, so we watched that and then Colton and I went to trivia that evening as we always do. And I'm actually going to quickly mention if you have any questions on where any of the stickers are from, please leave a comment down below. Most of them, at least character stickers, I really only get from Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. Um, the gold icons are from Scroll of Prince Co. At least the majority of them, maybe some from Caress Press. Um, and then the colored icons slash doodles that coordinate with the kit I designed myself well I made them myself but I did purchase the icon art from another shop on creative market again if you're interested I'll leave that shop link down below for you so moving on to Wednesday this was Scribble Prince Co new release day so I decided to use that sticker to kind of use up what I have um, went to Costco, went to Target, had an appointment um, in the afternoon, and then in the evening, again, watched through Thomas FBI. That's but That was just the show that I was watching right now. I typically, unless new episodes are airing, like if, but if I'm watching like an older show that's, you know, I'm, that you can just watch on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, I typically only watch one show, again, unless there are shows that are actively airing. Um, so Sue Thomas FBI was just the show I was watching right now. And then we went out to dinner with Colton's other grandparents um, to a restaurant called Hungry Hunter in the area. And then moving on to Thursday, I did the laundry in the morning, which actually reminds me I need to put in a load right now after I'm done doing this voiceover. And then as always, uh, our yeah, pretty much every Thursday I meet with a friend. We call it Fish Lab Coffee Break. She's in another fisheries lab and we kind of just talk about life, catch up. It's another way to stay connected um, when we're both working from home. Um, did some filming and then, which you didn't really see, but in the evening I watched Thor Love and Thunder. We went to the movie theater um, with Colton and his brothers and then Colton and I packed for our trip. So Friday morning we left bright and early flew to Dallas where our layover was. I did my nails, which, um, oh, actually I, I also had barbecue. There's a really good barbecue restaurant called the Salt Lick in the Dallas Fort Worth airport. And that's where I went for, or we went for lunch, did my nails. I removed those that you can see right there. And then I put on, um, oh, actually those may be the nails that I had for the wedding. I can't remember either way. They were, um, stick on nails or like those paper sticker file off nails, nail art, um, from Dashing Diva that I did at the airport during the layover, went to Bozeman. Um, we got in really late, so we just got McDonald's and then the bride and the groom luckily let us stay in their house that evening since they weren't there. They were already at the wedding venue and we didn't, the wedding venue was like three hours away from the closest airport. So we didn't have time to do that on Friday night. So they very kindly let us stay at their place Friday night. So Saturday was when we drove to the wedding venue. And again, it was like three hours away. So we basically just woke up when we woke up, drove, checked into the hotel, got ready, and then went to the wedding. Like it was a pretty short, but at the same time, long day. Um, and then I have this wedding sticker sheet both from Coffee Monsters Co. as well as Scribble Prince Co. that I'm trying to use up. So I just did a random time to dance thing um, just to use up that sticker and fill up the space. And then on Sunday, since it was the day after the wedding, we obviously slept in, um, went to, and we needed to kill some time since our flight was Monday. We wanted to spend some time in Montana. So we just did some shopping, um, went out to eat. And then in the evening after dinner, we went to the hot springs, which was so nice. Um, 
Highly recommend if you're ever in the Montana area or even anywhere out west. There are hot springs like everywhere. Um, and it was really nice to just chill um, in some nice water. And I believe this day was the one where they were playing music at the hot springs, which again, to have some entertainment there. And then in the evening, I just read. So here's everything that is left over from the kit. I purposely designed it where I would have minimal leftovers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.